Well, hello there. You're watching Go Island, coming to you today from Echo Aquatic Center. Air Invisia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Air Invisia Financial. Well, hello there. You are watching Go Island coming to you today from the Aquatic Center, the Echo Aquatic Center, where we're talking about public art going up on the walls here, pool art. And spearheading that project is Melissa Martin from the Royal Art Center from the Community Arts Council. And Melissa, this is such an exciting project. Yeah, we're pretty excited about this. Partnering with Parks and Rec is probably one of the, the, the bonuses of having um, the art in the, in the community. So this is a great partnership for us. Now, because it's going to be hard for you to visualize unless we show you a picture, Melissa has brought a mock-up of what they're hoping to do. And you can see here it shows all of these lovely pieces of art on the wall at the pool, but this isn't something that's being produced by you and put up. This is something that you're hoping the community will produce. Yeah, we have what's called as um, call to artists. We have those often um, annually for events that we do through the Roland Art Center. Um, and what it is is it's to hopefully get artists out there in the community to join forces with us. This is um, something that we hope the artists will come forward and want to participate because we want to beautify the community pool. Really, that's what this is all about. And we were chatting a little bit before the cameras went off, and this is almost like the banner project that we've just mm -hmm. completed. The banners are ready to go up, where you're hoping members of the community, artists or non-professional artists, or just folks who want to be part of this will come forward with ideas. Well, it's giving longevity, right? I think it's giving something back to our community, and what a better place is a, um, a public facility like this. The community um, really comes here full force. Families all over come forward to this pool, and what a better place to beautify. And we're hoping that the artists really will take notice of this and want to share their own art with the community. I hope they do too. And you brought a mock-up. So this is this is the what the murals will be painted on. Uh, yeah. It's a mock-up of an, a kind of an aquatic themed. Yeah, we do have a we do have themes. So there certainly is a guideline for the artists. We don't want them to randomly come up with ideas. We have certain colors that we want to use and certain um, um, theme that we're sort of going towards. Obviously, we want to sit, be um, a West Coast sort of theme as well as an aquatic. So this was sort of just a, to give artists an idea based on our mock-up, which was at what you showed earlier. This is the actual um, material that we'll be using. We did some um, investigation work and this is what we came up with. It's, a, it's an aluminum composite and it is very lightweight. Um, the artists will have um, all the materials supplied for them so it will not cost them anything. In turn, it will be a gift from the artist back to our community. So everybody will come to um, an orientation who has been selected, because there is a selection committee um, based on a jury, and we will come up with um, sizes for them, or the artists get to choose their sizes, and there's a, a variety of sizes, and it's all in the package. But this is one of the samples that they can take a look at. I think this is so exciting. We're going to tell you in just a little while how you can get involved, how you can submit your idea to the jury and hopefully have some of your art hanging here on the walls of the Aquatic Centre for posterity. Oh, and you know, just in case we do get a new pool, would the art move? Sure will. That's our dream, to be able to put it in the new facility to really showcase our artists here. Well, there you go. I don't know whether that'll be a decade from now or maybe a little bit sooner than that. We're all hoping that we'll get a new Aquatic Centre sometime soon. In the meantime, I spent some time chatting with a local art author about her latest book. Well, hello again. You are still watching Go Island. We are still here at the Aquatic Centre because we are talking about the Pool Art Project. The call to artists at the Community Arts Council and Parks and Recreation is putting out hoping that some artists and maybe some just regular folks who would like to be artists will answer the call, create some aquatic themed art to grace the walls of the Aquatic Centre. And who better to find out whether this is a good idea or not than one of the lifeguards. In fact, the head lifeguard, Mickey Schwartz, probably spends more time right here than anybody else in the city. And Mickey, what do you think of this idea? I think it's a great idea. I think that the pool really deserves to have something to show for all its years here. And uh, I think that it would be a lovely way to display all of the artists that are we have locally and in a more broad spectrum, just the beauty that we have on the West Coast. And 
Boy, you said that beautifully, Mickey, because that kind of sums it up. It really would be um, a lasting testament to local artists and to the community, and it would make it look a lot prettier in here. I think the public would really love to see something here. They take such pride in our surroundings, and Port Alberni is beautiful, and why not have some of it to show inside the building as well as out? I couldn't agree more with what Mickey is saying. I think it's a wonderful idea. I'm hoping some of you will answer the call and help create some art here so Mickey doesn't have to look at bare walls every day when she comes to work. Now, there's a lot more to, to hear about on the show. Um, for one thing, you don't even know yet how to apply, how to submit your idea to the Royal Arts Centre, Community Arts Council and Parks and Recreation. So we're going to tell you about that in just a minute. But first, we're going to hear a little bit more about this week's Downwind Challenge. Well, welcome back. You are still watching Go Island. You're looking at the mock-up of the Pool Art Project, the project that is putting out a call to artists in the Alberni Valley and beyond to submit art that will grace the walls of the Aquatic Centre right here at Echo Centre. And Melissa Martin from the Community Arts Council was telling us a little bit about what the project is. Now she's going to tell us how you can submit your ideas. Mm -hmm. Well, the applications are available at the Roland Art Centre. We're open Tuesdays to Saturday, 11 to 4, so anybody can pop on in. Um, the deadline for the actual application itself is July 15th so it is creeping up on us um, and all we do ask is that at the end of the application itself there's a last page and we just need a little bit of a line drawing to sort of show us what people are going to be doing just a sketch of what you want to do you can do it in various sizes mm -hmm. various shapes square rectangular yeah, all the sizes are specified in the application itself. Um, you can do a landscape or a portrait, so it's vertical or horizontal. So it's really up to the artist on what they want to do. It's not limiting your um, abilities to one. You can do a, a multiple if you'd like, if you wanted to do sort of a collage idea. That's certainly up to the artist as well. But we just hope everybody really takes advantage of this and comes in and shares their art. And even though Melissa mentioned this before, I think it's worth mentioning again because it is a different kind of environment in here. Not all art would last, so all of the supplies yeah. are supplied. Yeah, we, um, we wanted to make it as easy for the artist as possible. Um, our maintenance people here at the pool did some investigation work on the type of product to use that will withstand the elements. And really, that's, that's pretty, probably the most important thing here because there are lots of chemicals in the air. And we want this for longevity for the community because, let's face it, down the road, if we do, and we are privileged to get a new pool, those are going to be, be lining the walls of that pool as well. And I can't imagine the pride that you'd feel swimming here with your children, with your grandchildren, seeing some of your art on the wall. So thank you for telling thank us about you. it. I think it's a wonderful project. July 15th is the deadline for submissions. Don't forget to get yours in. Stop by the Royal Art Centre to pick up the application. And you know, we're almost at the end of the show, but before we leave, well, I want to see Jose Arujo swing that bat one more time. Well, I think you have to agree that these walls are pretty bare. The Aquatic Centre would be greatly improved with some of your artwork gracing the walls. So do get down to the Rollin Art Centre, pick up an application form before July 15th. Until we meet again, be good to each other. Aaron Bissia Financial Go Island is brought to you by Aaron Bissia Financial. Supporting community and providing personalized advice and service to clients since 1996. Our team is ready to help you with your financial future.